Invention Studio is this magical place where they have basically every tool that you could possibly want to build something, and most of them are tools that no person could ever possibly afford. What we're doing here is actually completely new, not just at Georgia Tech, but everywhere. We're all teaching ourselves and teaching each other and creating a sort of collaborative environment where knowledge flows really easily. It's kind of helping reshape and kind of mold the future of education here, really into much more of this kind of maker, creator, hacker culture. We went from having 10 students in one room to having five rooms and we're up to like 60 students right now running the shop. We keep the doors open, we keep the machines running. We're sure that all of the safety protocol are met. On a monthly basis, we have around 500 different people coming in from across nine or so different majors. When you really get mechanical engineers and you get industrial designers and you get you know, material science majors and you get biomedical engineers and all these majors literally coming together and sitting down at a table, you get completely different ideas. There are some really cool people here doing some really crazy things. Uh, I was cutting out the lid and base for a Faraday cage for a particulate accelerator. I'm working on improving my BattleBot. We've been playing around with making some jet turbine uh, wheels. I'm working on my steel string acoustic guitar. I'm working on an experimental model aircraft. I'm working on a 50 kilogram satellite. In order to keep the Invention Studio open and available to all students, it takes lots and lots of funding. That money comes from our generous corporate sponsors, as well as the tech fee that we get annually. The great need is to have a building, an entire building dedicated to the idea of interdisciplinary design and bringing the maker movement back into engineering and engineering schools.